Welcome to Creative Live's Quick Tips. I'm your instructor, Ben Wilmore. Okay, let's get started and let's take a look at how to replace colors in Photoshop. In this image, I have a red car, but I'd rather have it be blue. So we're going to replace the color of the car. I'll start in Photoshop's Layers panel. If you don't have your Layers panel visible, you can go to the Window menu and choose Layers to get it to appear on your screen. At the bottom of the Layers panel is an icon that looks like a half black and half white circle. That's the Adjustment Layer icon. And from there, I'll choose Hue and Saturation. And when I get into Hue and Saturation, I have two approaches for how to change this image. There's a precise method and a general method. We'll hope that the general method works first, but if it doesn't, we'll try the precise. On the left side, there's a hand icon that I need to push in so that Photoshop knows when I click on the image, it should do something related to this window. If you want the hand icon to always be turned on, like mine was, you can go to the upper right of this window and choose Auto Select, this choice right here, and it would automatically turn on the hand tool every single time I come into Hue and Saturation. Now, if I were to adjust these sliders, it would affect everything in my entire image, not just the red car, but the blue sky as well. In order to get it to only affect the blue sky or the red car, I need to move my mouse on top of the image and click on the color I'd like to change. When I click on the color I'd like to change, a menu within Hue and Saturation changes to indicate what color it thinks I clicked on, and it does a little bit of extra work down here. We don't need to talk about these yet, but it does some extra work down there to make sure it's thinking about a precise color. Now I have three sliders to change the look of everything that's red in my picture. The hue slider will change the basic color. If I move it way over to the right, I can get a green car if I want, red car, orange, any color, I want a blue car. Then we have saturation, which controls how vivid, how colorful it'll be, I can make it more colorful or less, anywhere in between. And lightness will control how bright or dark the car will be. And usually you need to make a very small change to that. When I'm done, if I notice that other areas within my picture changed and I didn't want them to, for instance, there's a flag up here which include red stripes, as long as I used an adjustment layer, I can just go to my tools panel, click on my brush, make sure down at the bottom of my screen that I'm painting with black. And now I can paint on top of any area that I didn't want to have change, and it will remove the adjustment. If I didn't want the undercarriage of the car to, paint, to change, I can paint there. So that's the simple method. But I noticed that some of the reflections in the car caused those areas to remain red, so let's try the more complex version. I'll get rid of this adjustment layer by clicking on it and dragging it to the trash. We'll create a brand new one by going back to the adjustment layer icon and choosing hue and saturation once again. The hand icon is already turned on because we changed that option in the side menu that caused it to turn on automatically. Now what we're going to do is click within the image just like we did before and now we're going to look at these icons down here. Those icons indicate what specifically Photoshop is isolated within my picture. The light gray bar, everything above that is what's going to get the main change that's happening. Then the two darker colored bars, that's where it's going to fade out and apply less and less and less as it goes across the colors shown above those dark gray bars. Well, I can grab these bars and pull on them. And what I want to do is slam them all the way together like that. Therefore, we're going to work on the narrowest range of colors to begin with. And then, in order to isolate the car, we're going to need to get this to point at the right color and then get it to be wide enough to include all the colors within the car. To do that, we're going to use these little eyedroppers. The eyedropper on the left, when I click within my picture, is going to center these little bars on whichever color I click on. So if I move over to my image and click, you'll see them move to red. Then I just want to see how much of the car have I isolated, how much are the reds. So I'm going to make a radical change to any one of the sliders that are found above. In this case, I'm going to make a big change to the color by moving the hue slider. 
Now I can see that I'm not isolated enough of the car. So I'll switch to the eyedropper that has the plus sign on it. When I use that eyedropper and I click within the picture, it's going to spread apart these little sliders that are isolating color in my picture. So it also includes the other stuff I click on. So I'll click here where I can still see the red car. I can see a little bit further up on the fender. Keep going up there. And I see a little bit on the hood. I'll see if I can isolate all those things and get the whole thing to shift. Now it's okay if some other areas within my picture start to change, like the sky, because whenever I'm done, I can always paint with black to prevent that from happening. But if I just accidentally click somewhere and noticed a large area of the sky change, then I can come over here and there's an eyedropper with a minus sign on it. And that means remove certain colors. So now when I click up here where the sky is, it's going to make these sliders go closer together to narrow the range. So see if I can get it off the sky. Or I can manually come in here and just move these. As I can see that right now it looks like it wants to change the blues. And if I don't need to, just move these over. Now we're still in the reds. If I still notice some of the car needs to be changed, I go back to the eyedropper with the plus sign and continue clicking on various areas. And it might be that I get an area where the blue sky is reflected into the car, and that's why. Once I've gotten that isolated, then I can move my hue slider to whichever color I want my car to end up as. And in my case, I wanted a blue car. And again, adjust how colorful it is with saturation, and if need be, how bright or dark it is with lightness. Since I used an adjustment layer, I can then switch to my paintbrush tool, and I just need to look near the bottom left of my screen to make sure that I'm painting with black. If I'm painting with black, then I can just take my brush, paint on top of the picture, and get rid of the adjustment from anywhere that I paint. So here, there's a guy's red arm, I think, sticking into the photo near the right. I can paint there as well. Anywhere else I, or I don't want this to apply, I just need to paint with black. If you want to learn a ton more about Photoshop, then look at my complete course on Creative Live, Photoshop CC, The Complete Guide. Thanks for watching.